I thought I'd do a quick video just because it's been a few weeks. I've been out of the uh, out of the game making videos. I was finding it quite tricky to find the time to make the video, do the editing, get it published and uploaded, and all the other little bits and bobs you need to do, which I thought it was going to be a bit easier to upload videos to YouTube. Turns out it's quite hard. Uh, so fair play to people who do it um, all the time. And I'm just doing it for fun and for my own amusement and as a bit of a New Year's resolution to myself. This is a quick video uh, just about having a 3D printer. Specifically, I've got the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. Uh, and I got myself a flexi plate. I've had this for a while. It's a third party brand. So uh, you can see that there. So it needs to go this way around. So I'm going to have this magnet, which is on my build plate, my very messy build plate, is going to have to go plunk and that'll pick it up. So first things first, I need a little bit of isopropyl. So I'll just grab a rag, put that in my isopropyl. And I want to give that a good clean so that I get a nice clean connection point. Okay, go right around the edge as well. Try and clean any extras off. There we go, so that's a bit cleaner. What I was finding with my flexi plate is that I was struggling to get it lined up perfectly. So I made on my FDM printer uh, something to line up for myself. So pop it in. It's now in there. Line it up. And just pop it in the uh, in the guide. And there we are. Perfectly lined up to the edges. Take this off. And now it's on there really nicely and about as flat as I can possibly make it. And there we go. So that is how I quickly put my flexi plate onto my magnet uh, using a guide that I designed in Tinkercad and um, created. I've also published this on um, Thingiverse for free. So if anyone wants to um, print themselves out a guide Mine specifically, the Mars Elegoo Mars 2 Pro is the side of my, size of my plate. Uh, and obviously I, you've seen the brand I've got of the Flexi plate, but they should all be about the same. Uh, and it's just super easy. You can just pop it down, put it in, put it on top, and none of that trying to line it up and then it immediately grabbing. The amount of times I caught my fingers as well is horrendous. So yeah, quick video. I'll um, link in the description for the Thingiverse file as well. Um, and my next video should be about these lovely Escher. So let's just pick one of them. So I've been making um, names for my old Escher, putting the old Escher on new bases. Uh, I've got lots of new Escher already built. Uh, for example, grab. So uh, the new style, well, I say new, it's uh, been out since 2017. This sort of look. So I really love having these nameplates. There's these nameplates are what I'm building at the moment on my 3D printer. Been making lots of those um, so that my Escher look cool. And also, I had a little trip to Warhammer World the other day, so I picked up uh, this lovely Forge World model. And just pop that together. So that was fun. Anyway, slight diversion there. Point of this video was I'm back. I am going to make some more videos. Uh, please like, please subscribe. Uh, we're up to 60 subscribers, which is amazing, uh, considering it's all just uh, for a bit of fun. Uh, but no, it's much appreciated. Every subscriber is uh, much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching.